One of the parts of our snow melting system is the contactor panel. The contactor panel brings the power from our breaker panel and it meets the heating element or a heating cable. The panel we generally mount uh, in a garage or an enclosed area. This is a NEMA 1 enclosure not rated for outdoor. So typical studs in a house are, are 16 inches on center. If we measure our panel, we can see that this panel is exactly 16 inches, but the on-center spacing wouldn't allow us to mount directly to the studs. So what we suggest is that we put something like a plywood or some hard surface mounted to the studs, and then we'll mount the panel to that. We mounted a piece of plywood on top of those studs that we can mount our contactor panel to. So inside our contactor panel, we're gonna bring our power, our heating element, and our snow switch in. The heating element will attach to posts one and three if we do single phase, one, two, and three if we do three phase. The power from your breaker panels will come over to taps one and three if we do single phase, one, two, and three if we do three phase. This is a terminal block where we receive the input from our snow switch. We need to bring a separate 120 volt line in to power the coils of the contactors. That same line will actually leave on L1 and NA out to power our snow switch and it receives input from the snow switch on S1 and S2. Now that we have the box mounted and roughed in with our heating cable, the power coming from our breaker panel and uh, our wire out to our snow sensor, we're gonna turn it over to a master electrician to actually do the wiring on the inside of the box.